It's a gypsy man. And you know we're not doing any edits. So everything's gonna be in real time. <clears throat> so today, we're gonna be working on the bright idea I had to uh, change the spring and the recoil spring of my competition Glock 34. And um, so I had the bright idea of changing it from the stock 17 double capture spring that you see here and see if it will feel any better when it comes to recoil. Not that there's a lot of recoil in a nine millimeter, but the uh, double capture, I heard some rumors that people think that or feel that the single uh, spring feels a little bit different than the um, than the double capture. So I said, let me go ahead and buy the parts. And um, you know, I'm not being sponsored by anybody, so I'm not gonna tell you where I got the parts, but you can find them on any internet, pretty readily available, one site in particular. So I went and got it. I went and got the kits. I, what I put on there was the 13 pound spring. It came with a 17 pound spring. And I have a 15 pound spring here. So when I say I had the bright idea of changing it and seeing how it felt, and I, I do feel like I am good at how mechanical things feel. I used to be a motorcycle racer. So I can tell when little fine tuned, you know, changes are, are to things that are mechanical. I can feel that. So I went to the range today and um, I shot it. I shot the Glock with the, uh, I haven't cleaned it yet. I'm about to clean it as we have this conversation. But I shot the, uh, shot the gun and um, 13 pound spring, which went into battery when I had it on the, um, on the table at home with no problem. So I was happy about that. So I was like, okay, I got a gun that's more than likely gonna function when I get it to the range. So I go to the range today and I shoot it. And I thought it shot great. I thought I shot, you know, I thought I shot better. But, uh, you know, I had to make that comparison. So what did I do? I shot my group, shot uh, pairs and see where they land from my natural point of aim. So I did that. And they felt like they were doing pretty good. The gun was going in the battery, had no uh, malfunctions, it was so forth, and um, felt great. So I said, wow, this must be better. You know, everybody on the internet said, get 11 pound, 13, what so have it spring, and you know, your gun will feel better when you shoot it, and in return, it will be better. So I, you know, I drank a little bit of the Kool-Aid. I don't even drink Kool-Aid, but I drank it anyway. So I changed the spring. I like working on my guns and trying different things and tailoring it and making it custom to how I like to shoot. So, shot it, you know, everything worked out good, felt good, but I noticed my pair were a little wide. So I said, okay, let me go ahead and throw the original spring back in there. So I throw it back in there, shot it, the pairs felt, you know, it felt good. It actually felt better than when I had the 13 pound spring in there. I said, this can't be because this is a 13 pound spring. The slide has to return to where my point of aim is smoother. Wasn't the case for me. I felt like the stock 17 spring felt, it just felt smooth in my hand. It felt like the 13 was coming back too fast or coming back too hard and I can actually feel that I can just feel it and then I switched it again I switched it about four times and every time I went back to the 17 spring it felt smoother it felt softer in the hand went back to the 13 Can't, coming back is where I had an issue with it comes back a slightly slightly harder so I said you know what I gotta come home try the 15 spring and that would be my compromise so we're going to take this spring off and see what it felt like also thought that you know another variable might have been the ammunition the grain ammunition i started off at 115 you know it grouped pretty good i was using a dot 
so I can see everything my gun was doing when it comes to moving. I put 124 in. With the 13 pound spring, 124 grouped tighter than the 115. Um, I'm not an expert in ballistics, but I know how things look. I know how things feel. So I said, hmm, is 124 my grain? Which, you know, to me, 115, 124 don't feel any different to me. But obviously there's a difference between the two on how it feels with my mechanics. When I shoot 124, I might shoot 124 better. So I got to try this 15 now that I know that 124 might be my grain. So let's get on to that. Long story for a short process. So we're going to use the, the table vice to do that. And we're going to use this compressor from the place that I actually bought all these materials from. Um, so we're going to, that just goes over here. We're going to loosen this bolt in the middle of it using this Allen. And uh, we're going to change the spring to the 15. So then my logic is that at least I'll have a 15 and a 17 spring, which would be good. Because I, I do like having things on, on, you know, available. And whatever y'all see is how it works. This is how it's gonna work. We're gonna get that in there and we're gonna loosen this up because I did lock tight it before. And we're gonna do all this real time. It shouldn't be too hard to take out. Cause I use blue Loctite. Blue Loctite is fine. I don't use red Loctite because I know I like to make changes. So I need to, I need to be able to uh, take things apart. I'm gonna swing this around a little bit cause it'd be a lot easier for me to do it that way. And we'll bring it back. It'd be a lot faster. So, you know, I feel like, you know, you could cheat, you can teach your old Glock new tricks. And that's what's nice about, you know, just experimenting and being able to uh, change parts on your gun by yourself. You don't have to take it to, uh, to a Smith to do it, you know, especially with a Glock. You know, you can pretty much have all that. Um, if you have the tools, you can get the job done at home. All right, so. This is, is indicated with a white color on it, which is the 13 pound spring. And I like to keep my bags and I'll just slide it back into the 13 pound bag. And we're gonna put the 15 on there. I'm gonna try to clean the threads of the old Loctite. Before we go into that so we can apply a small amount of blue Loctite to this screw so you won't have a problem with stripping when you want to change things up I'm also gonna clean this off a little bit while we're here and I'm actually going to put a little bit of oil on it because I like to put oil on everything that touches metal I just put it down here because we're gonna to have to put this in the vise. I'll put it down here just to get it started and we'll do the rest when we get it into the battery again. So this is the red, this is the 15 pound spring. So we're just gonna take this, it's pretty easy. You just take that, we're gonna slide it down, we're gonna put our cap on, and we're gonna put our tool on and catch it all right that's going to allow us to put the screw on after we put loctite on it and just a dab just a dab to do it you don't need a whole bunch Gently reverse when I screw it on first. I'm gonna reverse, get it in the threads, then I'm gonna get it in there. And 
this thing is fighting me. There we go. So Alright, there we go. So we got that on there. I'm just gonna just kind of hand tighten it and then I'm going to put it back into the vise and I'll cinch it down. Cinch it down just a bit but I'm not going to crank it down. Turn this around, this will be a lot easier if I turn it around. Then we're going to get this back into focus. But I was, you know, I was I was surprised that you know this amazing change that people claim to have just you know it just didn't happen for me. You know, I thought it was gonna be a lot better. But on another note, I had the opportunity to uh, play a little bit with a staccato today, which I plan on getting, you know, soon. And it felt good. I actually felt that the, uh, the ergonomics of it actually felt like my Glock. So I'm happy to know that because I don't like the guns with the grips that uh, feel more upright. So we got that back on there and we're gonna give this a shot. And um, I'm probably gonna just keep this 15 spring on there and keep the 17 here for my next test. Because if my, my next test would probably be the single rod, the single spring versus the double capture if this 15 doesn't feel good. So, short video, more conversation than work, but uh, when it comes to springs, I mean, you really gotta go out there and test. And to be honest with you, I don't know more than Glock, obviously. And, you know, they say Glock perfection. The way they set their guns up, they, everybody says they're oversprung felt just right to me so I can't complain I'm just playing around seeing if I can make any improvements to something that's already good so gypsy man hope you enjoyed it I'm out